You weren't expecting to be uploaded so quickly, did ya? Hello everybody, it's Nana Nine Career here, and welcome back to some more Super Checkpoint. This time, we'll be taking on the Challenger Path. And as the name suggests, it is a real challenge. Well, it is the hardest path in the game, so I'm not really surprised. But as well, this is not the last video on the Super Checkpoint. There should be somewhere around one or two left. So this is not the end for Super Checkpoint, before you start worrying. So, here are the rules. You should definitely know about the rules, because again, this is the fifth video. I mean, this will be the last time I even show the rules, because the next video will be me collecting all the items. You know, that's against the rules. But this intro is long enough. So, here's the last thing I need to say. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As well, join the Discord server, link in the description. And let's begin. Alright, so Challenger Path, with new music at the beginning. Bit depressing, because again this is the last time we go through an entire path. But just to tell you now, if you watch the Adventure Path, then there's no need to watch the first nine stages. Because again, we've already seen it. So, I'm going to be mostly silent. So, enjoy the music, and enjoy me playing the game for now. And see you in Checkpoint 10. Right, we are here. Over there's the Challenger Path, but I'm going to go a quick detour because in the last video, I gone ahead and collect coin 81, and this is the Challenger Path, and you're supposed to collect that coin on Challenger Path. But after I collect it, we'll go straight for Checkpoint 10. Checkpoint 10, a dangerous journey. 
Well, indeed, it is the last half of the game. Usually, you start off a little bit tough, but as well, if you've done all the parts before, this shouldn't be an issue. Here is coin 82. Now we can go straight for checkpoint 11. Checkpoint 11. Mm, I don't know what to say here, just avoid the green by jumping over it, and then you will reach some orbs. And after going through all those orange platforms, instead of taking the bully, I decided to take a risk jump to get coin 83, and then we'll have to try and get that bully again. And then take it, and then we'll get to checkpoint 12. Checkpoint 12, jump orbs and climbables at the beginning, and then after you'll be on the background trying to not touch any of the hurt stuff. But after these jump orbs up ahead, you'll get to checkpoint 13. Checkpoint 13. Up on this purple platform is coin 84, and now we've got 100 coins. 20 more to go. Down here, there's lava and platforms, and a chance point. That can make or break your run. As I can see there, you can get the perfect run curse. No thanks. But after these jump orbs, up ahead is checkpoint 14. Checkpoint 14. You got kind of two pathways to go, but they still lead the same place anyway. And as well, at halfway, you can switch if you want to. And as well, you might find out which one is harder. Neither of them. I just chose right because I'm just used to it. As well, if you see me jump at random, uh, that's just my spacebar getting stuck on my keyboard. But we're at the end now. Here's checkpoint 15. Checkpoint 15. There is a barn here. Why is it there? I guess the person who's in charge of this path is part of the Tractor Boys. Just in case you don't know what I'm referencing, it's something about football. As well, coin 85 is up here. And now all we need to do is take this big platform and uh, follow to checkpoint 16. Checkpoint 16, multiply orbs again and jump orbs. And over towards this chance point is coin 86. I'm not going to get that chance point because I could lose a permanent HP and that'd be pretty bad. Now the last multiply orb and jump orb, and here is checkpoint 17. Checkpoint 17. The name of this checkpoint speaks for itself. Pick the red one. If you want to win, pick the red one. Why? You have to wait until checkpoint 20, and again, it's hard now but it gets significantly easier after checkpoint 17. But as well, if you go to green, okay, I know it looks intimidating, but 
The rewards you will get if you go this way will be so much worth it, especially for the last five checkpoints and boss fight. And that's why you get coin 87 as well. Just jump carefully and here's checkpoint 18. Anakin, I have the high ground. Checkpoint 18. So picking the red path will get you to this checkpoint 18. And what you get is an easy experience and quicker one at that, as well as good chance points all around. Because as well, I got three bonus HP. As well, the yellow orb appears again. Just be quick, just don't fall, because if you fall, that means you're going to lose your reward at checkpoint 20. But as well, if we want to get coins like the coin over here, we have to do another playthrough, which doing that and plus recording, it took a while. Not gonna lie. But up the screen ladder is checkpoint 19. Checkpoint 19. Your ward is nearby. But now we got this yellow path here. Coin 98. And pink platforms. By the way, this last one here, I'm gonna go for a quick detour over here. And you might be wondering, what is over here? It's just the background, and there's nothing here. Think again. And here is the secret checkpoint 20. Now here is your big reward. These three Chance points and coin 118. So let's see what I get. Five bonus HP, deadly jump orbs are no longer deadly, and another five bonus HP, which is pointless because bonus HP only goes up to 10, frustratingly. And as well, because you are on this checkpoint 20, you can go straight for checkpoint 21. Checkpoint 21. Now you got to make the decision. Go left or right? Go right because it's quicker and you get coin 92. As well, there's a lot of checkpoint 20s, which we'll go over, don't worry, just after when we finish the challenger path. But as well, green is easier, pink slash red is harder. Which is the hard one. And as well, half of this hasn't even loaded. But I don't even have a terrible PC, but whatever. Coin 92. As well, as you can see here, the deadly jump orbs are not so deadly anymore. Well, it says it right in the uh, chance point we collected as, but that is beside the point. Strafe here. As well, we need to be quick now because these platforms will start to fall. A little bit of a difference for Challenger Path, of course. But here is checkpoint 22. Checkpoint 22, more platforms that spawn and fall after a bit, and some hexagons. I wonder if one of them is wearing a mask, so it can face the octagon. I hope you got that reference. But after these spawn platforms is checkpoint 23. Checkpoint 23, another coin just ahead and spawning falling platforms. Be quick to grab coin 93, and we're done with that. As well, cool running pose. Now we've got these pink platforms again that rise you up and then fall down. As well, in between the hexagons is a times orb and a pink platform that rise you up and fall down. Sprint towards this tower over here, and here is checkpoint 24. Checkpoint 24, we are now at the tower, or the pillar as it's called in this checkpoint, but all you need to know, avoid neon colours because, you know, that will hurt you, and usually simple jumps, just in this checkpoint. As well, there are orange platforms you can jump to get over some neon parts as well, 
as well. There are hexagons in the air where you need to get pink platforms to ride yourself to jump through them. But as well, here is checkpoint 25. Five to go. Checkpoint 25. Up ahead is coin 94. And for those who have been in this path or got to here before, this theme literally fits even the title, Running Hell. This plank, this pink platform over here, and you can go through hexagons, which make this path a little bit more memorable, as it already is. But as well, going through those hexagons, you can see coins. For example, coin 95 here. When you grab that coin, quickly go back to the platform here and run all the way to the end. As well, do the same thing for coin 96. As well, we've got a multiply orb, and we can sprint towards the end to checkpoint 26. As well, enjoy the jumping sound. I will admit, it does get annoying, but I got used to it. Checkpoint 26. Now this is challenging. And a BS hit here. Thanks, spacebar. But over here, there's hurty stuff all over the place and jump orbs to go between them. Have your perspective be in a kind of 2D perspective and try and move left and right and try and not go too high because there is a roof and just try not to get hit. And now we've got to do the same with these raising pink platforms. Use the multiply orb to rise up again and as well use one of these jump orbs to get a lot of height to checkpoint 27. Checkpoint 27. Everyone's bane of existence, because now, instead of green orbs, now they're red. But I got the deadly jump orbs are no longer deadly thing, so I'm probably fine. But before I attempt that, go behind here for coin 119, and now I can attempt checkpoint 27. I know I'll make this look easy, but trust me, it's not, and I've done this many times. After this, here's checkpoint 28. Checkpoint 28, the one I actually really hate, because now you've got these spawn platforms that fall, and you have to keep rising up and be quick. As well, doing this footage, my spacebar keep getting stuck. As well, in the purple here, there is a coin, and that coin is coin 97. But as well, if you do try and take that, you have to start all over again, and or take a hit, which you still have to do that all over again. Huh, would you look at that? I'm stuck. Why? Because I jumped early, because you know, space bar getting stuck. And now I am stranded on this deadly jump orb here. As well, I typed spacebar keep getting stuck. Bruh. Checkpoint 29. And see, I have to do it all over again. I got hit on the head by that orange platform. See why now this is a challenging path? Just checkpoint 28 sucks, that's all you need to know. As well, checkpoint 27. But as well, if you're lucky enough to get all the way to the top, there will be checkpoint 29, and we will wait until we get there, of course. Just a side note, this music is so good. Please, play Cave Story. But finally, we are at the top, and here is checkpoint 29. Checkpoint 29. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, we have to go through that. But first, some deadly jump orbs. Pink platforms that rise you up and fall down and some standard orange platforms, which we need to get on this area where that 2D perspective again. Don't fall for that jump ball, and here is the boss. But first, behind here is a golden chance point, and the final coin, coin 120. That golden chance bomb gave me a shield. And now, let's begin. 
the boss we're going to fight this time is Francis. And no, not from Left 4 Dead or Boogie 2998 or whatever his numbers are. But this Francis is an observant guy who is very interested in phenomenons throughout the universe. He used to live in a big mansion, but his parents divorced and you know how that goes. But one day, his father just disappeared without a trace. So he was determined to find him and he ventured throughout the world to his lost father. Fortunately for him, he's found his father in the Dream Sky Trials. As well, I'm gonna beat him up, so let's do that. It's what you get for trusting his father to get that chalky milk and losing himself in the shop for 10 years. And hang on, he looks like me. Oh, whatever. So how Francis works is, after a while he does his little taunt thing, he will summon bulls. And after a bit of them spawning, they will go straight for you. At first, they may be really slow and not many of them, but later in the fight, there'll be like some around 12 balls you have to dodge, and they go very fast to like your sprinting speed. But as well, that's not the only thing you need to worry about. As well, as you're dodging balls, you need to do some platforming. And these platforms, or mostly the platforming you have to do here, is pretty tough. I mostly die due to the platforming, not Francis's balls himself. I probably could have called them orbs, but it's more funny to call them balls. But not for me joking around. There are two ways to play this boss fight. Go really quickly, or take it slow and steady. I am going very slowly, but if you want to go fast, you can go ahead. But you keep get but don't be surprised if you keep running straight for Sir Francis's attacks. So as well, taking them slowly has its benefits and problems. Like this entire purchase of me fighting the boss is six minutes long. So what I finalized with is the platform is a lot more harder than the boss's attacks. But as well, both at the same time, is really really difficult. As you'll find out. The more you go through this boss fight, the more hard it will be, as I said a couple seconds ago. But mostly with the platforming, everything you've been shown from the classic all the way to Challenger will all be here. Except for the light orbs, thank god. Or Jesus or Satan or whoever religious figure you look up to. It might be that weird big ass cube. I should probably not making jokes about religion, you know, I could probably get shot. But that's mostly everything about this boss fight. So I'm going to shut up. And I want you to enjoy this music from Cave Story. And me beating up Francis. The person who looks like me. Oh, and I nearly forgot. Coin 98, 99, and 100 is in this boss fight. But as well, you need to go all the way to the end to be able to collect them all. Now I'm going to shut up. Alright, here is. Did you even see that yellow ball there? Yeah, white and yellow do blend in very well. And as well, I got hit twice. As well, this area. It's a lot more easier with deadly jump orbs not being deadly. So yeah, this boss fight is a lot more easier than it should be, on what I'm showing you.
Alright, we're in the last two hits. At this point, Francis will spawn at least somewhere around 10, 12, I'm not gonna count them, orbs to throw at you. And they go very fast. They are really fast. After these multiply lava jump jumps, you are basically beating the boss fight. As well, I stand around here just to taunt Francis a little bit more. I mean, it does absolutely nothing, but yeah, it's funny. And deal the final blow. And here it is, the last checkpoint to beat all the paths. And that is how you beat Super Checkpoint and the Challenger Path. Okay, okay, thank you. You can kind of stop clapping now, please. Please stop clapping. I said stop it! Thank you. We are not done yet. We have now got to do missing coins and checkpoints. So we're gonna go all the way to checkpoint 17, but instead of going to the red path, we go to the green. So this path is usually just a lot more easier than the red, but again, your reward is not so great, as in there is no reward, but you have an easy experience, but it'll get harder over time, unlike doing the red path. You underestimate my power. So this checkpoint 18, you go through a snowy field at the beginning. But as well, if you go through this way, it's a lot longer. But again, you need some of the coins here if you want to get 100%. Plus, you need to actually activate every single checkpoint as well if you want to get 100%. So that's why I'm doing these missing coins and checkpoints to begin with. Now I've got to make a decision of which way to go. I want that coin up ahead, so I chose left. And now, coin 88. And we got to a higher checkpoint 19, which where if we didn't go down, we would have gone through that lava area there, but we're on the background, so it's probably a little bit easier. After this orange platform, a coin is up ahead, and that coin is coin 90. But as well, there is another coin up ahead towards this letters that say super. And that coin is coin 91. And now after those letters is checkpoint 20. Well, this is checkpoint 20C. There's a lot of checkpoint 20s. But this checkpoint 20, I died because, not gonna lie, this is actually my first time attempting this without any items and or just leaving after grabbing that checkpoint. But at the last smiley face, this fully will take you to checkpoint 21. And as well, I'll show you the green area of Checkpoint 21, because why not? But it's mostly the same deal as Checkpoint 17. It's easier, but it's longer. And a little known fact about me in this game, the last checkpoint I nabbed was actually the Checkpoint 20 that I grabbed first in the main playthrough of the video. And when I did, I thought I was such a genius. Like, I discovered a secret without any sort of guide. I mean, at the time, there's barely any guys to begin with. But that's mostly it of Checkpoint 21, and we never have to go back to it. Don't try it! 
Anyway, back to checkpoint 18, or the high ground of checkpoint 18. If I ignore that yellow orb there, there is coin 117. And yes, that is the last coin we need. And yes, I know I died, but so what? You don't lose the coin if you die. And now we got all 120 coins. Hopefully there's no there's no extra coins we need to find. Like an extra 30 coins that's more harder to collect than all the coins combined. But now we go back to the low ground of checkpoint 18. Go through this area again. But instead of going left here, we go down and right. And at the end, we go to this lava world through checkpoint 19. This is another checkpoint 19. Lower. This checkpoint 19 mostly only has two ways. Like for example, I'm just showing off. But most of these pathways will merge at one point, at checkpoint 21. For example here, if I went left at the beginning, I would have just came here just a lot quicker. Now you got two paths to go to, left or right. Which one you pick is what checkpoint 20 you will get. For example, if I chose left, I will get to checkpoint 20A. By the way, you do not need to stand on the edge here. There's the full platform is in the middle. Don't need to worry about standing on the edge of glory. As well, there's a pixel art of a flag from New Rally X. After the 3D heart, you go on the top. Pink platform will send you, and then you get this big pink platform that you can go to these lava orbs and get to checkpoint 21. Now the other way for checkpoint 19, so instead of going left we go right to checkpoint 20B. Which is actually very hard. But after these lava jump orbs, it's mostly the same as in Checkpoint 20A, where you go on this pink platform to the lava orbs to Checkpoint 21. Now we're going to get the last checkpoint to grab, which you need to go up to this checkpoint 19 all the way in the sky, but instead of going to the background at the end, you go straight ahead and fall down to checkpoint 20. And this checkpoint 20 is easier than all the others I've just showed you. I guess you could say the checkpoint name doesn't lie, it's the direct way. And then there you go, that's all the checkpoints of this entire game. So, what's next of Super Checkpoint? Well, first of all, the next video coming up will be me trying to find all the items. Which I've already done, so you don't need to worry. And then, what will happen after that? Well, you just have to find out at the All Items video. So now, I'll just do the outro now. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord server, link in the description. And next time, we'll go get all the items. So bye, have a great time.